I'm Gluten Free Gigi. I understand how difficult it can be to enjoy the foods you love on a special diet. That's why I'm making these videos. Come join me in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to make dry beans at home. You'll save so much money and they'll be so much better for you. No additives, no sodium that you get in the canned beans. Let me show you. What I started with was a bag of organic cannellini beans. And these are sort of a large white kidney bean. You can use any bean you like. And I have half of this bag here to show you. I rinsed and washed my beans beforehand and drained those and then put them in clean, cool water and soaked them overnight. So this is what we have now with your uh, soaked beans. They're tender and you can see if you touch these, the outer husk will come off and they're sort of soft and you can put your nail right through those. Anyway, we'll go ahead and drain this water off and I have a pot of water over on the stove coming to a boil. Because what I want to do is add my soaked beans to this water and it's coming right up to a boil soon. So I'm going to put these in and you need enough water to cover the beans about two to three inches so this looks good here and we'll let these come to a boil I'm going to cover them so they'll do that and when they come to a boil we'll reduce the heat and we'll simmer these for about one to one and a half hours then we'll come back and I'll show you how to test them for doneness come have a look at the beans it's been about an hour and 15 minutes for my beans and you'll test yours along the way so they're simmering away I'm turning them off so the way to check for doneness, just take a fork, oh, I can already tell they're done, take a few out, and first of all, your fork goes through, but you can mash them gently, and they'll stay together if you don't stir them too hard, but this shows you that they're nice and done, and they're ready to turn the heat off, and we'll take these out, you can drain them, and you can use them in your favorite recipes. So that's a simple way to make your own dry beans at home.